Hey, welcome back to the channel. Amazon unboxing. Of course, I know what's in here. I'd be excited for you guys to see what's in here. I can't wait to talk about it. I love the easy, can we give it up for the easy unboxing? Like, you can do it with one hand if you needed to. Like, I love that with the Amazon. Some things I'd be like, you know, that's pretty cool. I'm excited. This came yesterday, but I did. It came late in the evening. I was like, nah. It's too late to use this at nighttime. Oh my god, there's a pump. Level pump. There's a pump! Okay. I hope this changes my life. And hopefully, from this video, it will change your life. So, this is... Thank you, Jesus. This is castor oil, y'all. Let me find the label. This is castor oil. I got it from Amazon, of course. Um, $10.99. This is a. I hope this changes my life. All right, this is castor oil. And what is castor oil, y'all? Castor oil is a vegetable oil that was compressed. And all the oil came out. It's odorless. It's very thick. It's used for a lot of things, such as. It is used for constipation, you guys. It's used for constipation. Um. Castor oil is mostly used or commonly used for hair growth because castor oil is known to grow your hair five times more than the usual growth. That's what they say. That's why I'm experiencing about to use this for the first time ever. During my research, I'm like, really? I'm going to try this. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm like really excited to use this. I gotta put that lid back on it. I am going to um, see. It's a moisturizer. Castor oil is a moisturizer. Castor oil is good for the hair, the skin. Um, it's well known. It's commonly known for hair growth. Now I. I'm going to use this for hair growth. The reason is, if you can tell, like, my hair is thinning in this area. There is hair there, the same left of the other hair, but look how thin it is. It's really thin. It makes this area look bald. It bothers me. There's a small area right here with that same thing right there, thinning, thinning hair. There's hair there, it's just thinning. So I try to disguise it the best I can by doing stuff like this. But uh, I want to deal with the underlying issue, which is hair thinning. That's it, that's all. And it's coming with age. That's it. Men, women, men unfortunately lose their hair. Women, we thinning hair, some women develop uh, alopecia, but it's, we definitely get the thinning hair and it happens around the, the crown. My crown has been thin for a long time. So I'm going to try that. I have been using Rogaine and let me tell you, um, about one month and about a month and a half, I've, I was using Rogaine. What Rogaine does is it makes your hair grow. It will take you from completely bald to hair full of hair. If you have thinning hair, it will make your hair thick and all that. 
The downside to Rogue Game, which is why I'm no longer using Rogue Game. I just got this a week, maybe two weeks ago. I'm not using Rogue Game anymore because, and I knew this before I started the process of Rogue Game, and I thought I was okay with it until, uh, until I started skipping days. Or skipping dosage. You suppose to apply the rogue game twice a day. I can't do that anymore. I was doing good at first, but now uh, I started skipping the second dose a day. You know, you take two doses a day. I started skipping the second dose. It's like, nah, I can't do this. Um, and the reason why I'm not doing the rogue game anymore is because the hair you grow using the rogue game. The progress from using Rogaine, you will, it will disappear when you stop using Rogaine. So, I don't want that. With the possibility of losing more than what it was in the first place. I don't want my hair any thinner than what it is. And I don't want to lose any more hair. So, Rogaine is out, okay? Um... Yeah, we about to try this. This is really thick. And, um, it's odorless. It's going to stimulate blood flow. So, because they say stimulate, again, I never use this. This is my first time. I'm guessing it's a minty, like something, because it says stimulate, but it has no smell. So, I can't wait to experience this. I'm going to apply this over my entire head. The way you're supposed to do it, I did not take out my plastic caps. And I'm, I am going to end the video once I have done that and finished talking because I'll talk you through that. Now, the process of using castor oil is you apply it to your hair, you put a plastic cap on it, and you let it sit on from 30 minutes to 2 hours. I'm going to 2 hours if I can take it. And you rinse this out thoroughly. The internet says, wash it out thoroughly. I'm going to take the hottest water I can take, not burning my scalp or damaging my hair. And I'm going to rinse it thoroughly and then work it through. It's so you don't see all the oil because it's so thick. Um, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. And if... I will definitely make a short video, so follow everything, Sha, okay? And hit your notification bell. Bing! Smash the notification bell so you'll be notified when I make a video, okay? Because I'm going to make a vid, a short video, I'm giving you an update. It may be a long video, an update depending on my experience. Um, it says... The internet says, like Google, Google says this, and I'll play it for you. I have a phone right here somewhere. The internet says that, um, oh, I have this in my pocket. The internet says that if you use castor oil in your hair just once a month, it will grow your hair five times the normal rate, five times the normal growth. So let's see this. Let's let you guys hear this. Oh, I turned it off so you guys don't hear the notifications. So while we wait for that to power up, um, do I want to start this yet? Well, I still have to fully open this thing here. Alright, cool. I, I'm so excited. And look how big it is. $10.99. Now, if once a month, once a month promotes up to five times the normal hair growth, right? But the internet, Google says recommend it once to twice a week so I'll be doing twice a week definitely will mm -hmm. phone is powered up here let's get to it. do castor oil make hair grow according to very well health castor oil increases blood flow to the scalp which promotes healthier hair applying it just once a month can boost hair growth up to five times the usual rate up to up to five times the norm the usual rate. How often should I apply castor oil? According to Cosmopolitan, 
There is no standard as far as how often you should use castor oil, but I'd recommend one to two times a week for at least three months, as that's typically how long before you'll see new hair coming in, says Blazier. Okay. If you don't believe me, believe Google. If you don't want to believe Google, starting today, okay, November 30th, let's experience my hair growth. I want to, let's see how thick this stuff is. Small squirt. Oh, we gotta pump it up in there first. Oh, there we go. Let it pump up in there. Just open it. Oh, it's not as thick as, um, it's not as thick as Jamaican black castor oil, I don't think. Uh, this area is just bad. It reminds me of Jamaican black castor oil, but without the, uh, the smell and Jamaican black castor oil is black and this stuff doesn't look black. I want to just squirt this right on my head. That's what I love about a squirt bottle. Let's get that off my hand. Small squirt there, rub it in. Alright, this is the good thing about a squirt bottle. See what I'm doing here? Some lost words. Got my face a little bit there. Because it's not like a hair grease, it's a little runny. I'm gonna get this, rub this all in your hair. I'm getting it on my scalp now, right? And then I'm gonna come back and get it on my hair. Oh yeah. Work it through. Look, see I just, I'm putting it, I'm gonna put a squirt right there. Wait, let's make sure we get that area that's thin in there. Get that a heavy squirt. This side real good. Oh, I'm so excited. Mm, it's cool too. Mm. I just hit this crown area real good. Cause ooh. That on that scalp. We don't rub that in that scalp. Get this back real good. Oh, let's see here. Like, I'm telling you, I almost want to shave my hair off. <laughs> but I'm like, no, let's try to keep the hair we have now before doing something drastic. Let's get this area. All right. See that starting to run down? And massaging your scalp, ladies and gentlemen, works for hair growth. It doesn't just feel good, it promotes hair growth. This is like, you're stimulating your blood flow, and the blood flow gets the hair growing. You know what else gets the hair growing? From stimulating the blood flow? Exercise. I don't if even if it's just this doing them arm lifts is getting the blood flow to the hair, to the hair which is promoting hair growth. All right, I got that on the scalp really good, which is where I want it. For split ends, this is good for split ends. For split ends, you want to do this, yo. And then I don't have split ends. Like my hair is really just growing. I. I'm, I've been cutting my hair for years. You want to rub that along your fingertips and go along your 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 hair. Um, they say on the ends, but I would just do this on your whole, you know, just on your fingers. Do it. All right. Now for me, I, it's time for me to grab a plastic cap and put that on to hold this in. 
Let's grab a plastic cap. Wait. It's good for here. Let's Google that first and make sure this is could be before I put this on my face. Let's be certain. Is castor oil safe to use on my face? According to Medical News Today, castor oil is relatively safe to use, but some people have reported side effects after applying it to their skin. Castor oil is thought to have anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, moisturizing, and some other useful properties. That's good enough for me. Yeah, yeah. Let's grab a plastic cap. Let's grab a plastic cap, people. It says we need a plastic cap. We need a plastic cap. Gotta get a plastic cap. Don't play with it. We're not gonna have stuff this time. We're gonna do it right. The people say that we gotta do it. I was going to try to put that on with one hand, but let's not try that. Let's put the plastic cap on so we can do this the right way. Alright. I apologize for not being fully ready. Now this video is not yet sponsored by Amazon, hopefully, or maybe one day it will be. Um, here is the castor oil I used. I will leave a description of it. I will leave, um, not a link. I'll leave the name of it in the bio, in the description of the video. My bad. Um, so I'm going to sit for two hours with this plastic cap on. Then I'm going to rinse it out. Although the internet says to wash it out. I don't feel that's necessary to... I didn't put a lot. You know, I want to use it to... It's potent. They say it's really potent. Let's let's listen to some things about castor. We're going to leave this sitting here. Y'all don't mind if I leave this castor oil sitting in the video. No, y'all don't mind. We don't have a choice. Let's see here. It's how strong is castor oil? Let's give her a chance. She's not going to respond any other different way with that one. Um, how should I use castor oil in my hair? According to Healthline, massage the oil into your scalp. Apply castor oil to the rest of your hair using the comb to ensure even coverage. It doesn't need to be soaked through with oil, but all of your hair should be moist. Once applied, put the shower cap on, ensuring all hair is tucked inside. That's what I'm going to do. I don't even feel the need to rinse. Google didn't say rinse. Hey, 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 hey. Don't see myself. Listen, I don't feel the need to rinse. I'm going to experiment with this. I'm going to experiment. I'm going to see how it feel after two hours because I did not pull a lot. you seen that. I mostly put it on the scalp and massaged it in. I feel like I'm starting to feel a tingle in my hair. It could be just the coolness. I don't know. I'm going to have to wait and see with this. I am excited to hopefully be starting the process of, but I don't think this helps with, let's sit you down. I want to Google some more. We want to learn some things together. That's what I, I feel like I should learn something every day. Most... I learn something every day. Let's see. I had a question. How do I want to ask this? Um, let's see, people. Whoa, I lost it. I don't, I don't want to ask that question. I'm going to ask this question. I'm going to ask it this way. Because, let's see. Does castor oil help with alopecia? 
See, I don't really want to say alopecia. Tropic Isle Jamaican black castor oil can aid in the stimulation and reactivation of dormant follicles, triggering regrowth of hair in persons with mild to moderate forms of alopecia. Mild to moderate forms of alopecia. See, I, I wanted to ask that, then I'm like, no, let me find a different way of asking that because I don't have alopecia. I have thinny hair. But I have Jamaican black castor oil. And I stopped using that. Now, let's see here. Because... Uh, uh, uh. Now, I may have to order, I may have to use both of these. I have to Google first the wrong one. I have to Google first the uh, castor oil. Because I just Googled the Jamaican black. And. Oh, wait. I could have sworn there was more Jamaican black. Well, maybe there isn't any more Jamaican black. Alright, so I will check this out. Let's see. If I may sit you down, please. Yes, this is how I look with a stock with a shower plastic cap on. Cute, right? I know. I know. Let's see what else does castor oil help me with. Does castor oil help with thinning hair? According to Health Shots, Unlike other oils, castor contains several nutrients that consist of a powerful mix of proteins, vitamins, fatty acids, and antioxidants. It's going to work. Hence, it provides the scalp with the nourishment it requires. This doesn't just prevent hair loss, but also ensures healthy hair growth. Okay. Let's, let's exit. Because if, if, if it does... For alopecia, it will do for me. Wrong button. Wrong button again. Does castor oil help with alopecia? According to Amazon.com, Tropic Isle Jamaican black castor oil can aid in the stimulation and reactivation of dormant follicles, triggering regrowth of hair in persons with black castor oil. I'm guessing not castor oil because I'm asking, does castor oil? And they gave me this Jamaican black. Does castor oil help with alopecia? According to Amazon.com, Tropic Isle Jamaican black castor oil. All right, Jamaican black castor oil. I do not have Jamaican black castor oil. I have castor oil, which grows your hair up to five times faster. Now, let's Google that so y'all will be clear. I don't want to confuse anyone what I'm doing here. Does castor oil help hair grow? According to Birdie, castor oil has been claimed to have a slew of benefits, including strengthening strands, promoting hair growth, and nourishing dry scalp. And while the oil itself likely can't make the hair grow, it's loved for its ability to create a healthier environment on the scalp that makes for way better hair growth. What, it, what this does to the scalp makes the hair grow. Alright, let's see. Does Jamaican black castor oil make hair grow? According to Naturally Curly, Jamaican black castor oil works for all hair types. It will moisturize, thicken, strengthen, and rapidly increase hair growth. It increases blood flow to the scalp, supplying valuable nutrients to hair follicles. So, there you have it, people. Now, I am going to sit here for another hour and a half with my castor oil on my hair, under my plastic cap. <sighs> Day one, if you want to see the results of me using my castor oil on my hair, and I'm also going to start using my Jamaican black castor oil again as well. I'm going to order this same brand, but Jamaican black castor oil. I will leave the description for you guys and um, hope you enjoy the video again if you want to see my results 
of how castor oil is helping me, then turn on your notification bell after you hit that subscribe so you can see what it's doing for me. Okay? Hopefully it works. Stay with me so we can see together. I thank you for watching. My name is Shy of Everything Shy. I am on Facebook, Instagram, IGTV, Facebook Watch, TikTok, Snapchat, and Clubhouse. That's a lot, but hey, I'm everywhere on social media. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you for watching.